Hello people of Earth, I'm Dan Lockhart of the Valkyrie Dan Lockhart YouTube channel. I'm recording an introduction for my next episode. I decided I was going to go down to Crystal Butte in town to get some gas. I had one bar on my fuel gauge and the bike wouldn't start. Pulled it out of the garage, put it in the driveway, and I went to take off to go get gas and I had a flashing E on the fuel gauge. Well, I've never had that before. And I'm pretty sure that I've run the bike down to at least one one bar on the fuel gauge before. And this was something I've just never seen. I put a little bit of gas in it, um, about a gallon, and fired right back up. Uh, went down to Crested Butte in town and got some gas down there. I was so busy in town. Uh, all the parking lots were full. The town was very busy. There was some kind of art event going on down there. But uh, it's been a while since I've seen traffic like that down there. But probably it was like a, a mid-ski season type of traffic thing going on. But uh, anyway, I got down there and back. Had a great ride. Thought I'd take you along with me. I'm getting ready to go out on a ride either to Lake City uh, Colorado or down to the Colorado Gators to see how they're doing since they had their uh, fire down there a little over a year ago see how they've recovered from that also the uh, Colorado Gators is it's probably within 15 20 minutes of the Great Sand Dunes I might uh, run over there after I go to the Colorado Gators if I go that direction but I thought I'd take you along with me on this gas run. It was a pretty good day for a ride. I enjoyed it. Had a good time out there. And uh, I hope you liked this episode. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye. it up. Kick stands up. All accessories. Okay. I'm obviously doing something wrong. That's the first time that's happened to me. And I didn't think I was that empty either. Holy crap. Alright. So. <laughs> Holy cow. Very interesting. Interesting. All right, let's go.
Now it says I have two bars on the fuel status. Right. I don't know what's going on with that. Like I said, I have not seen that before. I didn't think I was out low. Hey, Chris. Stay for a ride. And for my ride tomorrow, I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking about going over to the Colorado Gators, check them out. I wanted to see how they are, are doing with their recovery from the fire that they had last year. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes away from the Great Sandy and uh, maybe I'll make another interesting ride. I haven't been out there for a few years now. And on that ride, I get a ride through one of my very favorite canyons, Cochitoka Canyon really pretty in there. Coming into CB. Well, uh, mountain biking is, is pretty big in Crested Butte. I read uh, last year I read an arc article how mountain biking got started uh, it happened concurrently two places one is Crested Butte and the other one was a place in California and what these guys did was they uh, they loaded up their bikes and uh, they went up to the top of one of the runs uh, loaded up their bikes in a pickup truck and went up to the one of the intermediate rounds, and then they just rode them downhill. And I imagine they went pretty fast. Yeah. Huh? Let's see if all that other stuff with the flashy knee will shut off. What do you guys run in your gas? I just use regular, which is three dollars and sixty cents a gallon here. All right, here we 
go. Lots of cars. in our neighborhood. Um, it's called the, the Zuni Street Brewing Company, but I would call it the Zuni Street Brewing Company, and uh, that's how we pronounce Z-U-N-I for almost my whole life. But it is actually named after the Zuni Indian tribe, Native Americans. But uh, anyway, the, uh, the guy that owns a brewery has a brewery in Denver with the same name. And the reason that he wanted to build a, a brewery up here is because when he was a kid, I believe this is the way the story goes, when he was a kid, his parents got divorced, and one of them lived in Denver, and one of them lived here in Crest Butte. So, uh, he had his brother in Denver, and he wanted to build one up here. So he did, and we haven't been there yet, it was just opened like the third week in June and uh, I'd like to stop over there I like the beer the beer is really good so I have to do that one of these days if I don't understand he doesn't have food inside the restaurant but what he has done is apparently contracted food trucks to come and sit outside the restaurant and, uh, and go that route. Anyway, that was a trip through up Avenue here in Crested Butte. That's the main street. They're getting ready for a farmer's market down here tomorrow. Yeah, let's go up to the end and turn around and look at Yui. That's all right, though. I understand it, and I have been a pedestrian on this street many times. Yeah, it's definitely the way that I would go. You know, I'll give you more time to. Uh, Concentrate on your ride and the things that you're seeing. You don't have to worry about shifting. And, uh, Southern Colorado is always nice so this time of the year. Oh, we're back. 